Look at that, she's officially a big girl. I can put her hair up. <laughs> they told me that it was April that I put. Yeah. So I think that it's come, you know. Uh, well, I'm really disappointed. He went through a third party, bought his tickets. A few weeks pass, and so he looks at his reservation and it's set for April instead of January. So he's like, wait, that's weird. I, I was very sure that I put in January. He bought off of a, it's like a kayak, but it's a company I have never heard of. And I'm like, after he bought it and he told me, I'm all, dad, is that even legit? Like, I, I've never heard of that place. And he said, well, when I was looking up flights, it popped up, so he bought his tickets and it had the wrong date. I called customer service. We got it situated, but it costs so much money because for just a change in flight, there's a $200 fee for this third party website and then a $200 fee for the airlines. And then it was a $130 for the price difference of the ticket. And then it all came to about $600. So dad's issue is he thinks that this website is a scam, it's that they changed the dates so that you're forced to cancel or to reschedule. Ever since that happened, this was weeks ago, he cannot stop talking about it. So he's clearly upset and he tried to call customer service. And when he called customer service um, before to just his frustration like he couldn't get through to them but there's no proof even in the email there's a confirmation email that they sent and it has a date so there's there's literally no proof that they switched it up or there's a scam so that's quite frustrating and then yeah dad's just so upset it's one of those like when you're scammed you're scammed there's n I don't even know what to do about it. I know dad and I know it's killing him that he doesn't have any proof of the scam. Like he's he's pretty much convinced it's a scam, but moral of the story is buy direct. Just buy direct or book a travel agent. When tickets seem too good to be true, it is because it's too good to be true. And I know this through experience. Last time I went to Vegas, I think I bought from, it was actually a website my mom found and it was dirt cheap tickets, but then they stack on with everything. Like a regular economy seat, they tack on an extra $20. Oh, you have a carry-on? $20. Oh, you wanna check it in? $30, like it just stacks on. Anyways, okay, enough flight venting for now. <laughs> I really did feel Dad's frustration though. I felt it. Wow. She's so happy now. She just wants alone time with you. I think I was just vlogging about how Leah and Bella have been having challenges in the room because Bella wakes up Leah and then Leah makes a big fuss about it and then it's just a whole mess. I was trying to parent Leah in a way where she just got it. One, you've got to be calm, you've got to be the big sister, and you've got to shush her and just be quiet and be patient. That's what I said, which is hard to teach a toddler. But secondly, I said, if you have to, just get out of there, don't knock on the door. She knocks on the door, which we love because it's almost as if she's getting permission. I said, just get out of the room and do whatever you gotta do, come find us. So last night she did two things that was really impressive. Number one, she didn't pound on the door. She just opened the door and I heard her open the door, but I thought she was knocking and getting ready to knock more. What is that? Somebody's phone is connected. Okay, Siri just wigged out on us. Not only did she open the door, which I thought she was knocking, she gets out, comes to our room, and I'm already getting up because I thought she was knocking on the door. She comes in, and it's kind of scary when you see a toddler just walk in so fast. She goes, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna go by myself. I was just so proud of her. So I said, okay, go ahead. And of course, she still asked for help, but she wanted to go by herself. So she used a toilet all by herself. She wanted help getting her pajamas back on. And she just walked back to her room all by herself, nice and calm. That was it. 
So me and Judy were so proud. What did you think about that? Was that mind blowing? That was so sweet. It was six in the morning. Yeah. But that was very sweet that she did that. <sighs> Leah. She's, she's choosing to ignore oh, me Oh, right she's now. no, she's just so proud of herself right now. She's just Mommy. kind of in uh -oh. her own mood. Uh oh, uh -oh. it I starts. This is the last hurrah of Play-Doh in our lives. At least in this this season of our lives. Yes, we're gonna have grandchildren, so. Okay, hold on. You have to eat first, Boogie. What's going on here? Huh? Look at this, Daddy. Three. Look, look. She, I can't. She just said go away she for the first said, time. Go away. She's the smartest one, but that's not smart. You can't tell Daddy to. What's going on with you? Oh. Who taught you go away, huh? <laughs> Are you Bella's protector? Is that your helmet? Go eat now. <laughs> okay, nice. And then I've been helping Kira with the satin ones. Mm -hmm. this uh, one, are her I tags on these? No, she she's the one that tags them. Oh, she tags them after the fact. Yeah. What's with your look? <laughs> when mommy's here. Oh, 10 out of 10, honey. Grilled cheese, tomatoes. What are you doing? You fall see, she's following you, Leah. She does everything you do, mm -hmm. Leah. And then um, her new addiction, obsession. Addiction? Yeah, seriously, addiction. honey. You said you're gonna work out on the Peloton like an hour I, ago. I am. I'm mm -hmm. still gonna. She was like, I just need 20 minutes. I was like, okay, go go right now. What I hear? Jiggy, 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 jiggy. And then I don't see the, the little ones, Bella and Leah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, what the heck? And that's when I went upstairs what and found jiggy, what jiggy, I. Jiggy, jiggy. What was that? The sewing machine. You can hear it from down here? No. What are you happy about? Baba poo poo. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. Don't say oh, See, look, Bella learns from you. We're oh. going to Disneyland in Tokyo. <laughs> you want to go to Disneyland? <laughs> Whoa! I heard Sometime this year though, we don't know when. <laughs> I heard they have some alien snacks. Mm. Little alien snack. Mochi. Hey, can you please eat over here? I'm just kind of hovering around oh, waiting wow. for you to eat so we can get on with our evening. You know what though? It would honestly help if we were all sitting here. I got home a little bit late. Judy <laughs> did a after school snack for the girls, which almost became a dinner for the little ones. The older ones are upstairs. Judy at one point wants to go in the garage and do- I am! In fact, no, I believe you. I'm gonna go right now. My baby! Mommy's just gonna change, I'll be back. This is what happens. Okay. Watch. Go. Wow, I like how calm she is, honey. That deserves something later. As long as she eats her grilled cheese. It looks like you ate it, but I know. You can put it over there. Put it back on your plate, please. Sit down and eat. Oh, you're, you're eating, but hey, that's enough grit. She learned her lesson. Yeah, you don't want that, no. Are you calm now? Can you show me how to eat your food? So then you can show your sister how to eat. That's not gonna work. This is just finger foods today, okay? No, no. This camera Oh, I see. But can she balance it? No. Daddy, I can you make all my tomatoes. Good girl. Now, can you finish your grilled cheese, please? Okay. So yesterday we ate all together, and these girls ate really good. They didn't leave the table because they saw me and Judy, they saw their older sisters. Now when it's these two, you just gotta sit here with them. Okay. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming, huh? This one never ate, so she had a banana instead. Well, careful! I sus Mario set. So close to the edge. Hi, Boogie. Hey, I Allah. Oh. Bella. Bella, you're gonna hit.
hit your head. Honey, she did it already. Hey. Oh, you look like you're in a good mood, huh? Anything good happen this morning? <laughs> Little snack. The pork lumpia, but this time we're just gonna air fry it rather than um, deep fry and. Hey, what if it makes a major difference? Well, we'll see. My dinner's a little late. <laughs> Everything's pushed Mommy, back. can we, can, uh, Daddy said can make a, a seaweed face in again. Oh yeah, on the rice? For sure, why don't you set that up right now so okay. by the time rice is Daddy, ready. can we cut everyone? Yes, you can. Like I said, cut out the faces can, right okay, now. Yay. Mama, I'm actually eating both. Well. Do you want know seaweed face? Yes, we're gonna eat. Okay, yes. I said today is a day that I start packing at least a little's clothes. One of the good things about packing for another climate, it doesn't get in the way of the clothes that they're gonna be wearing within these next two weeks. So let's pack summer clothes. A lot of this will be oh, Mia and Kira's old clothes. Oh my gosh. It's actually kind of making me sad right now, which is not what we're going for. Bella still fits this. I don't think she ever worn this either. So darn cute. By the time she hit around this size, it's already late fall. Hi, baby. I was doing so good on this. I did the whole thing and look, uh -huh. see this edge? I finished it. Nice. But there's no string. Because we finished the oh, white. Oh, we don't have any yes. the white string. So now no, we should just no move problem. on to Hey, the, good the job, ones. baby. Thanks. We could still finish this later, okay? Okay. So just put it in, in your pile. Okay, this was a gift from Auntie Stacy for Leah Boo. A thing about girls' dresses that I love is that it carries for years. This linen jumpsuit is the cutest. I thrifted this years ago. Um, oh, this is a good one. This is a good leisurely outfit. We've been running low on thread, which is a good sign. Now we're going to move on to dark scrunchies so we have black satin which was from auntie jazz we're still gonna make her a pillow too we have dark chocolate yeah. satin what's up with all those sounds i love this little knit set this is cute bella's never had the chance to wear this yet this little shark jumper what it turned off oh let me see Packing wow. for your baby sisters. Oh my god, I can't believe we're leaving soon. I That's know. Soon. The reason why I came in the laundry room is because I was gonna look for my shirts because I was seeing that the dryer was done. Because this. Okay. Um, what? This, I like the other shirt better to sleep in. And, and if it was done, then it would be yeah, warm. If and you I could wear it. Oh, it's yeah, warm. yeah. You know what? Oh. You never even turned on the dryer, you just put in the clothes. <laughs> I always do that. You could, my you could use one of mommy's shirts. No, I'll just wait till it's warm. Because it's only nine more minutes. So that long. Okay, mommy, yeah. Oh, hi, dear. Mommy? Yeah, boo boo. Bella, I can read my. I can read my. Also, can you please ready. put it in the sink? No, I need a hole. Okay, fine. I'm going to remember that. If you don't do that, maybe I don't do something for you. Please put it in the sink. Did you want to wear this in the Philippines? Okay. Baby Yoda! We're going to Philippines in less than two weeks. I love Auntie Melmo too. This was, I can't remember if this was from Mama or a friend from Mama, but I, I remember Mom holding it up and being like, oh, Leah's gonna be so pretty in this. I got this from her house. Woohoo! Mommy! Hi! Oh, yes, I'm sorry. You want to put this on now? Do you want me to picture hair too? No, no, no. Yeah. 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 She says de so much that Bella's starting to say de. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just broke. It's okay. No big deal. It's still beautiful. Turn around. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful, boo boos. Okay. Oh, but it's so you know beautiful. what? You're more, more beautiful. Dun 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 dun. Dun! I present to you, Queen 
Elsa, Leah. Leah and Bella's done. She's not even too just air fried these. We've got mixed results here. Oh, that, that's a good idea. Four and a half. Right there. Honzu. Honzu, that would be nice. But mixed results. Look at my panza rice. Minions or cake? Everyone's comparing it to Judy's lumpia, which is almost not fair <laughs> because it, she has the most bombest lumpia in the world. I think that's just how all moms are. I need some rice in my life right now. Yes, measuring bones. You know what I'm talking about? Da 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 da. We've got Princess Leah and Princess Bella. Woo! Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh! Are you Queen Elsa? Um, do you think I should cut her bangs, Sandy, or should we throw it out? It's just really good. I like it. He looks Did you take off your bow? No. No, your bow. The one on your bang. Why? Aw, he's half eaten. That's but, really good. Okay, his little paws, Mia, so cute. How is it with the ponzu? Way better. Way better. Oh, interesting. Please don't put it there. It's a little creepy. It's a dolly. I know it's a dolly, but I prefer it either in your room or on the floor. You could put it in your room. Why don't you put that in your room? No. Is it because it's creepy? No. Like a dolly. I know it's a dolly. It's it. She's pretty. Mm -hmm. But I want her on the floor. Yeah. On the floor. Say, Yeah, it's not creepy. I'm just kidding. Baby, yes, baby. Okay. Good night, Pookie. I love that the kids are into Play-Doh because this is one of my fun activities I like to do with the kids. But it's when they don't put it away that I question, was this a good idea? To be fair, I haven't been on their case and as strict because my attention spread thin. <laughs> We're able to save three out of the four. By the way, the desk is still here. We just have nowhere to put it. Our garage is filled with boxes. We could go to storage. It'll definitely be used in the new house eventually. We're really growing out of this space. But I also, I'm, in, I'm just in no rush to move. I love this house so much. And although we're packed in here, it's really not a burden. But anyways, we're gonna call it a night here. We'll see you tomorrow. Night night.